Hello boys and girls. Today we are on lesson 16. Our I can statement for today is I can use grid paper to create designs. So what you're going to need for today's lesson is a piece of paper and a pencil. I know that many of you probably don't have grid paper at home. That's okay. If you don't, you're just going to have to draw um, some squares so that you can color in your squares like I did. I'll show you that in a little bit. <clears throat> So we're going to start with our application problem today. Our application problem says, Rick is baking muffins again. He filled three columns of three and left one column of three empty. Part A wants us to draw a picture to show what the muffin pan looked like. Then part B wants us to write a repeated addition equation to tell how many muffins Rick makes. Then write a repeated addition equation to tell how many muffins would fit in the whole pan. So I'm going to zoom out so that you can see just me and my board. And I'm gonna first write our read, draw, write checklist. Okay. So they want us to draw a picture to show the three columns of three that he filled in and then the one other column of three that he left empty. So I'm going to first draw my three columns of three, so one column of three, two columns of three, three columns of three. Now I'm going to fill those in with my blue marker because we know that those ones were filled in and he made muffins out of those. But then it said he had one column of three empty. So I'm going to draw one more column of three. And I'm not going to color those ones in because those ones are not filled in yet. And they he didn't make muffins out of them. So part B asks us to write a repeated addition equation to tell how many muffins Rick makes. So this needs three columns of three. So for our problem, we're going to have three groups for the three columns. And how many were in each column? Good three. So we're going to do three plus three plus three. So what's three plus three? Good six. Six plus three? Good nine. So Rick? made nine muffins. I'm going to write that below it, that Rick made nine muffins. I'm going to write actually on the side. Rick made nine muffins. But then they ask us to write a repeated addition equation to tell us how many muffins would fit in the whole pan. So we know that he has made Four, there's four columns in here. So we need to do four groups to show the four different columns in the whole tray. Now, how many are in each column or each group? Good, there is three in each group. So what's three plus three? Good, nine, What or six, sorry. What's six plus three? Good, nine. And what's nine plus three? Good, 12. So our answer would be twelve muffins. would fit in the whole pan. I'll move this up so you can see my writing. So it says, Rick made nine muffins. So he's made nine muffins, but 12 muffins would fit in the whole pan. So we've 
read our problem, we've drawn our picture, and we've written our word in number sentences. So we have completed our application problem. I'm going to zoom out so you can see our next part. This gets a little tricky. So it says, did you know we can also use square tiles to create designs? Look why I placed my tiles on the grid paper to my left. How would you describe it? How would you describe how I place those tiles? What's the pattern you see? Good, I see red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. I can create the same design again by shading in this same pattern. So I'm going to zoom out so that you can see what I've done over here. So on my separate thing, this is something you can do at home too. You can create kind of a grid using a ruler or something that's straight to create your different grid and then make it with a pencil on paper or a whiteboard, whatever you have. So I have my pattern of red, blue, red. What would come next? Good. Red would come, or blue would come next. Uh-oh. So blue. Then what comes after blue? Good. Red. Then what comes next? Good. Blue. Look at this one. What will come next? Good. Red. Blue. Red. Blue, red, blue. So you can create something just like that while you're at home. Let's look at the, the pages that they have on our PowerPoint. So if we look here, They say, watch how I can make this pattern go on and on by repeating the core unit. So they refer to the core unit as that as the picture. So if you look at that, the pattern is red, blue, red. So if you were to continue this by repeating that exact unit, it would be different than what I did on my board because you're taking that exact thing and basically copying it and pasting it somewhere else. So did you see how that came in? Ready? Watch that again. So can you picture how it would look if it kept going? So I'm going to fill this in. So keep watching to see how, what it would look like if I kept going. So what we just created is called a tessellation. Isn't that a great word? How would you describe a tessellation? I would describe a tessellation as a repeating pattern. So you might have a pattern or a design of something, and they're going to repeat that design over and over again. So for lesson 16, our problem set is a little different than normal. What I want you to do, instead of doing what they have here, because you don't have all these things, I want you to create your own tessellation, your own pattern. So it can be something like we did here, or it can be repeating of a picture of an animal, or it could be a picture of something you see outside. But remember, a tessellation is something you're repeating it over and over again. So if you do an, an animal, say you did a dog, you have to do a picture of a dog with a kid, then you have to repeat it again, a dog and a kid, then again of a dog and a kid. A dog and a kid. So you need to keep going with that. Have some fun with this. Draw pictures. Draw something you would like to be doing. Um, I remember when I created a tessellation when I was in second grade and I still have it at my parents' house. So have some fun with this. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If you need some different ideas, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, you guys can look up on Google. Look up tessellation. I'll put the word up here again for you to see. And they will give you some ideas on Google.
get creative, have fun with this, and then send a picture of your tessellation to me or Miss Vu for some credit. Have fun. We miss you. Good luck, guys. We love you. Bye.